Bitte ein Kopf herrschen. Nein, 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 da lang. Okay. Nach oben. Ah, okay. ja, ja, jetzt. Bei mir fünf Plätze. Ja. Okay. Okay, uh, for today, we're doing the side triangle. Um, Again, everyone has their different name for it. I just call it the side triangle because I'm sideways to my opponent and I'm also on my side. So, a side triangle. Um, first of all, just the simple mechanics. The side triangle will normally come out of this position. This gets called by a lot of people the T-Kimura. And I have a Kimura grip on my opponent and his head is basically at my hips. Um, first of all, just in general, this is actually not that bad a position for me because if he tries to come into me, I've got the grip. If he tries to go away from me, I've got him that way too. So I have him in both positions. And so from here, I just basically, if he grabs his hands, I loop my foot through and I lock the, uh, the figure four, but I'm not trying to squeeze him yet. I'm just holding him here. Then. I've seen a lot of people um, say that you should take the hand like this. Um, I personally don't like this. I lose this a lot just because um, I'm just not very strong in this position. If he makes a fist and tries to straighten his arm, I lose it. This is for me not a very strong position. I, I don't know how the other guys do it. They must be better than I am. What I like to do instead is I just basically put my hand behind my neck and I keep this arm nice and tight. I just don't want this arm getting away from me. So, and it's always in a position so that if for some reason he is able to get his arm out of my triangle, I can immediately go back to my Tihimura and I can control him and go for my triangle again. Now, finishing mechanics for the triangle. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, again, pop hand behind my neck and just keep that arm close. This hand goes to the tricep of the far arm and counterintuitively, I'm actually going to open my triangle, straighten my legs and turn my body a bit to the ground and pull him into me. From here, I'm going to lock my figure four. I'll show it in a different angle so you can see, but my calf is actually at a shoulder now. And if I lock the triangle from here, I get a tap very quickly. Okay, uh, turn your head to the camera so, they can, so that people can see. Okay, so again, the mechanics from this side, I like to do it the other way so you can see what I'm doing with my hands and you don't have to look at my butt the whole time. But um, again, I've got my tiki mono and you can see his head is kind of resting on my leg here. So, or I had him like this and then I would put his head on my leg. This leg, if he's got his hands together, I would just feed it in through here, and I lock. This is just to keep him here. I'm not trying to choke him. I could try, um, try, to, try to hold this out as long as you can. Don't tap right away. If I try to tap him from here, <sighs> that was everything I had. And I just barely got the tap. You probably could have held out longer if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, he could keep going, and if I did that for another minute, I'm going to completely burn out my legs. And if he can then get out, I'm screwed, because I've not only lost my submission, lost my position, I've also got no more energy in my legs. So that's why I don't try to finish the triangle from there. So again, you feed it through, you lock, and you just go for control. From here, hand behind the neck, trap the arm. Grab this arm on the triceps, and now watch his head in relation to the rest of my body. Straighten the legs, turn my head down a bit, and now, like I said, my calf is covering the shoulder. Now if I squeeze, that tap comes very fast. That was 10%. Mm -hmm. I could have gone a lot more if I wanted to, and I automatically got the tap. How did that feel to you? 
Not good. <laughs> yeah. Not yeah. Okay. So that's the way I like to to close the uh, the um, the side triangle from this position. Show it one more time just to go through the mechanics real quickly, and then we'll go to uh, your basic escape. So escapes are cool because it gives us power. So. Okay, again, starting position in the tiki more. I'm going to show it from this position because the leg position I think is very critical. Bring his head on my, on my lower leg, feed the foot through, trap. Hand behind my arm, grab the tricep, straighten my legs, and I try to bring his head up to my hips, and I turn my head down. This kind of forces his arm up a bit. Calf on the shoulder. Yeah, I, I was barely even pressing and he already tapped. Mm -hmm. I actually just closed it and he was already tapping. So, okay. So, that's the mechanics for the side triangle. Now we're going to switch and go to how to get out of the side triangle when he has me in it. Okay? So, that's the next section of the video. Okay, so side tri triangle escapes is uh, honestly a little easier to show in two levels. So first, um, just the simple tiki mora escape. So he gets me in the tiki mora position, and I basically prevent the side triangle by escaping the tiki mora. Um, so the way I like to escape the tiki mora. So first, he has a nice firm, solid tiki mora. I go this way. He just pushes into me. I go that way, he's got my arm, I'm trapped. So, um, first thing I want to do is bring this arm in, because I don't want him to grab this arm with his legs. Do it. Yeah, now he's got me in the crucifix. Now I'm in a really bad position. So, bring this arm in, and on this elbow, okay? And what I'm going to do, uh, I've seen people try to push on the grip when they're escaping, but again, I just think this is a lot of strength against, against strength. Because again, if I push here and he pushes against me, this is, this is rough. Instead, I like to go up to the elbow and push the elbow out. Again, try to resist me. And from here, I can easily take out my hand, grab his arm at the shoulder, and I pendulum my body in the top position. And from here, I can start my own attacks. Okay? So what I'm basically doing is I'm, I'm countering his T Kimura basically with a really weak Kimura. <laughs> so he grabs the T Kimura and essentially I'm bringing this hand in, going to the elbow, and I'm also giving my thumb and that little bend of the elbow pushing it out and I'm hooking it with my thumb and I've essentially got him in a little mini tiki or kimura with this hand now and from here I can easily get my hand out take it to the shoulder and use the momentum to gain top position okay and that's how you get out of the tiki mora so it's a easy way to get out of a pretty dangerous situation. Now, we're going to get out of the actual choke. So he's going to put the choke on me, and I'm going to get out, okay?
this. Okay, so let me make myself pretty and then we'll actually talk about the side controller too. So, um, I said during the choking mechanics that it's really important to put your calf on his shoulder. And that's a pretty universal rule with triangles in general. If the shoulder is out, um, if the shoulder of your opponent is outside of the triangle, then this part's not getting pressed against and the choke loses about 90% of the efficiency. It starts to become more of a crank and then everything's a matter of pain tolerance. If you have a tough person, he's not going to tap so easily. So, um, let's start here. So, I'm going to start from this direction so that you can see what I'm doing in my shoulder. So, he's pulling, he's grabbing everything, he pulls the tricep in, and this is really actually really strong. So, what I'm doing, Loosen up a bit. A little more. Yeah, thank you. I just wouldn't be able to talk. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, no. So what I'm doing, and I'm actually unhook your legs for a second. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing my feet close to my butt and I'm bridging and pushing my body up. And that's bringing my shoulder back out of the triangle. Um, so now just showing you what I'm doing. Now close everything back up, nice and tight. And hold, hold my tricep. Yeah, yeah. Try to choke me. Yeah, yeah. So, no, keep, keep my tricep. Yeah. So, from here, I bridge in. And as you can see, my shoulder, you can hear it in my voice now too. My shoulder is out, and he loses grip of my arm. And my head is almost on the ground. And from here, I can hook in this foot. And I'm not trying to pull it in, I'm actually trying to pull it down and to my legs. And now I take this hand and I bring it forward to my arm, uh, to my body, because he's not going back for his tiki more because he can already feel that the choke is gone. I separate the legs, bring my head back in, and now I'm in that tiki more position we just started in. And from here, you just do your tiki more escape, and then you can start attacking. Okay? Showing it from this side now so that you can see everything from the, from the front angle what I'm doing with my feet and my hips, okay? So again, lock up a nice, nice good choke, try to choke me. Yep, good, okay. So with my feet, as you can see, I'm, I'm really bridging high. I'm, you can hear it in my voice now, the choke is gone. I've got my shoulder nice and far. He can press as much as he wants now. This is not choking me. It's not pleasant, but it's not choking me. From here with this arm, because I'm now really close to that foot, I hook it in and I bring it forward. I'm not bringing it in this way, I'm bringing it forward to my legs. And here, I bring my hand to my stomach, separate the legs. He's already gone back to his tiki more because he knows he needs the control again now. And from here, like I said, tiki more escape. And now we can attack. Okay, and those are the basics. Um, side control and uh, side triangle, sorry, side triangle and side triangle escape. Next week, going on with the same progression from the side triangle with how you're going to get in this tiki more position from the very beginning, from the bottom position. Um, there's a few interesting ways I actually want to show two. One of them is something I call the Kimura Gaishi. It's, it's like a combination of the Kimura and the, the Sumi Gaishi sweep. And then at the same time, there's another one. Um, I, I just call it the Spinner Rumi. Um, you can also use that for a back take if you want. So that's next week. See you then. His wife is going to get angry if he stays here any longer, so we're going to stop now. Bye-bye. <laughs>